Welcome back to Big Board. Let's have a look at the 4K X maps and let's try and explain what's going on with these things and why they uh, are arguably potentially cool. Uh, and it's a little bit complicated because when I did speak to David Heath from Lock and Load, he covered a lot of stuff. I was taking notes and I could not keep up. There's, I think as I mentioned in my uh, post on Facebook, there's a PC game coming out that is built on the Unity engine that will work on both Apple or you know the Mac products and Windows based products. There's <clears throat> a range of new modules coming out for lock and load. There's obviously a lot of other stuff happening on the digital front with Nations at War. And then there's uh, the World at War series that is still under development. And the, some of the lock and load modules are pretty close to being ready to be ordered. So uh, lots of good stuff going on. The deal with the 4K X maps, and I'm going to show you these and the kind of the the, the flow of all the different maps that have evolved. And these are not these are not must buys. I'm not by by any means, right? I, you don't need these maps. You don't need the X maps for that matter to play the game. And you, if you're a completist, then yeah, sure, you're going to be on the hook and you're going to want to get them, perhaps, right? The, I think, if as I recall from David's conversation, because like I said, it was a, a torrent of information. There's, and, and here, maybe if I just read this, maybe this will uh, be more uh, succinct than me actually trying to explain it to you. But so here's an AM 4K X map collection includes new maps for use with certain scenarios from the Heroes of the NAM module. Uh, these new maps are used in place of those called for by certain scenarios and list below shows which 4k maps are used now there's only three here in this particular one but for the Normandy one there's quite a few and really it's it, primarily it's for when there's uh, overlays are uh, required and so uh, and I'll show you so here it says uh, undeniable courage uh, map one, replace map one with uh, map one B. And so let me, and I'll just show you two maps that are the same. I'm gonna pull this one aside because we're gonna look at that in a second. Where's map one and one B? Uh, what did I do with it? <laughs> That's great, Kevin, here's B. Hey, okay, let's just do B. So here's map three B, okay. And see how there's no pool? This is where the pool usually is. And I'm just trying to find that. Obviously, they didn't include that one in here. So now I need to go to the box and grab the other one out. I'll show you one of the mean ones. Here it is. No, that's not it. Yeah, this is what this map looks like without with the pool in the regular size. So you can see, right? There's that. And then you just pretend that there's a chopper. That's actually a helicopter crashed there. If you can see that detail or not. Right. Um, I'm trying to see what else is different. I think everything else is pretty much the same here. Yeah. So it's really for this overlay concept, right? So that you don't have to pretend. Uh, and uh, it's also in the Normandy games, it's getting rid of all those overlays. It has a three, a three A, B and C, or whatever the case may be, to uh, alleviate that problem. All right, so that's that's what the premise of them is. Uh, look, here's, a, here's an explanatory diagram, right? Showing you three A and B, as the case may be. And then five B, I think you're supposed to pretend that some uh, kunai grass is now an orchard or vice versa, right? So. That's the premise. And I, my understanding also is in some of these, not in the Vietnam modules, I don't think, but I got the impression that the, uh, because they're going to take, take the, the digital games are going to use all the maps. <clears throat> I think they're upgrading some of the artwork on the maps. And that's what some of these 4K maps are going to represent is the up, the upgraded artwork. So different build you might have unique building structures on the map uh, per 
per hex type of thing, right? So that could be that be kind could be kind of cool if that transpires. That I was 100% sure of when I had the conversation with David, and I'm sure he'll comment on the video uh, uh, later on. But let me just show you kind of the evolution here. So this is a, a 4K map. This is the original hard mounted map. It's pretty convenient size, right? Uh, and you had your counters on it, you can really only fit one counter per hex conveniently, but this is the the upgraded version. Then uh, when when they moved away from the hard mounted maps, they went to these. You can see that there's some slight color variations too, right? Although I will say that in the old mounted maps that kunai grass was always in this different color from version to version or addition to addition to addition. So no drama there. So that all looks good. Then you get the consistency here. There's there's nine again, right? The colors are all the same. Same big hexes, etc. And then this is the 4K version. And you know, you and I probably can't. So when I say 4K, I don't know if they're trying to say high resolution or not, but I don't believe they are. But anyway, you can see the, the two map versions there pretty much identical so maybe a little more little more resolution and detail here but anyway that's kind of the concept behind it now also in the uh, little care package that was sent to me these uh, player reference cards uh, all been printed and bound so all the charts are in one spot which I quite like and they're nicely laid out all those people that don't like to do math or you're playing with the youngster who doesn't like to do math, you can work that out. And that national, national capabilities chart. So this has got all the different forces from all the lock and load uh, modules. And you can compare everybody's morale and capabilities and all that sort of fun stuff. That's always pretty cool to have a look at. And I've spoken about this before. Uh, this is that uh, scenario maps list and you can download these all and print them all for free or if you want to order them online I'm sure they'll be made available at some point But this is all the current scenarios and updated ones will, and, and the maps that are required for them Updated ones are going to be made available for download online So, you know the you know, Purchasing them probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? These things unless you want a hard, hard amount of copy um, there you go. This is like the whole shoot and match. And by the way, this Hell Froze Over map is really interesting to play on. I've only played one scenario on it, but I do need to get that, break that out again and play some more. And there's a little uh, lock and load tactical system scenario, a map checklist. You can write down your scenarios you play, what faction you played, how many turns it went, and the result, and whether it was solo or not. It's kind of nice. Okay. That's all I wanted to show you. I show you, I guess I should pull out these uh, NAM ones. I'm sure we've got a lot of World War II fans there who want to see these, so let's have a look. All right, so as I mentioned earlier on, there's a lot more maps that require different, um, you know, interpretations of terrain. And these are just those. And here, I think uh, you can see, let me show you. I don't, and I don't recall if this is the way it is in on um, the older maps, but see this house here and this house here. The, the artwork is, is different for each of the house types, right? Different shapes, etc. Let's see if it's the same across all these. Yeah, it looks like it is. So that's pretty groovy. And of course, these are mostly all the same here. But even here, we've got some variation. And I don't know if that's the same on uh, on all the old, all the older maps. I I don't know. Uh, but there you have it. I thought I'd give you a quick little look. I don't know how that took ten minutes, but it did. More innovation, more fresh content, continued effort to improve the gameplay flow, 
the ease of getting into the systems, the ability to do multinational uh, uh, cross cross era fights if you want. Uh, that, you know, you could literally play the game just with this if you wanted to. That's how uh, clear and concise these things are with all these little uh, icon-based rules summaries. You know, these are these are awesome, and I know that most of these have been updated as well. Because when I when the first version of this came out, there were a handful of mistakes in them, and they really weren't usable. But I know that uh, most of them have been updated, so that's pretty nice. And all this makes uh, life pretty straightforward as well. So all in all, it's com it's doing stuff like this, I think, that starts to s sort of separate the, the, the pack a little bit. While Lock and Load doesn't have the largest user base compared to ASL, or probably even uh, Combat Commander, they are doing more with the game system and trying to find ways to make the game more accessible to more people more easily and without uh, burning a hole in your pocket. And they also try and keep stuff in print as well, which is uh, an often often a common complaint about uh, Combat Commander and ASL. I know ASL struggles to keep, uh, well, the multi-man guys struggle to keep their stuff in print. And that's due to popularity, right? That's, that's great. Uh, for me, this is one of those systems that is a consumable, a little more Hollywood-esque, a little more fun to me. I mean, this is something where you're you're talking at and to each other across the table as opposed to head down, uh, letting the, the light bounce off your bald spot and uh, sweat dripping off your brow as you try to figure out what to do next and freaking out when you roll a one or a 10 or whatever it is you roll uh, with ASL or a six. Uh, this is just good fun, yet it... it uh, forces you to use a modicum of uh, good tactics. Good tactics will beat uh, crappy random play any day. And it's a great, great system. And in particular, I think everybody knows I love the modern stuff. That's probably my, my, my most favorite aspect of the, the series is the modern stuff. The World War II stuff is great as well. But I'm a, a big modern combat fan when it comes down to the tactical level. So really, really well job well done. And uh, I think these guys are going to do great and continuing into the future. Good customer service too. All right, that's my little fanboy presentation. Uh, thanks for sending these to me. Uh, I will probably, I will work out some way to do a giveaway of the these uh, 4K maps and we'll do, do it online on the, on the Facebook page or on Twitter or both so that, uh, you know, someone can get these in their hands. I have, I have so many copies of uh, X maps and mounted maps and all the rest of it. I, I just, I want to get these into other people's hands and let you guys enjoy them. So hopefully you'll stay tuned to the website and the Facebook page or Twitter, and you'll see an announcement about how you can win them at some point in the near future. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.